Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grimm here and welcome to another episode of the series where I explain what are the different types of characters and character class in Just Mobile and how to identify them, how to pair them up and how to build them. Today we are going to be taking a look at uh, almost the last class and yes I know a lot of you have been uh, waiting for the damage dealer class but we will leave that for the last episode of the series. Today we are going to be talking about the support character class and we are going to go over what is a support character, what types of support characters are out there uh, and how you should build them. I will try to go in a lot of details so everybody can understand this. If you have any questions at the end of this video feel free to ask them down in the comments and I will be sure to answer them to you. Like, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it and subscribe for future content. And without further ado, let's get into it. To go over this, uh, going over this guy's roster that I found in the top 100 in the arena because simply he has a better roster than me and it will be easier to uh, to exemplify. If you're watching this video, thanks, Mr. Omega, for existing basically, and I hope you don't mind. Now let's get into this. So, first of all, let's talk about what a support character is. A support character is a character that has a passive or something that will benefit his entire team. For example, there's Multiverse of Flash, who is going to have a passive, two passives actually, that are going to benefit Multiverse characters. This is going to be Multiverse Critical, who's going to give his uh, Multiverse teammates and also himself uh, some critical attack chance and critical attack damage, and there's also going to be Multiverse Haste, who's going to reduce uh, the cost of Multiverse characters' abilities by a few bars of powers. Let's look at another one. Now going down over here, uh, there is Shazam, who's going to be again a very good support character because of uh, the fact that uh, he is going to increase by 100% the attack of uh, Arcane and Might teammates uh, himself included and uh, he is going to also grant them uh, stamina of Atlas granting uh, critical damage uh, multiplier reduction for the team. Also another great support character. Now let's go even deeper down the line. It will, I think it will take me some time to find what I'm actually looking for because they are ranked... I, I found it. Power Girl. Uh, Power Girl and Dr. Fate are the most used sports in the entire game and maybe the most versatile and arguably the best ones. I'm trying to fix the camera, excuse me. Yeah. So, she is one of the best sport characters because of this passive which is going to reduce the power bar cost for the uh, special abilities of her and her teammates for the entire duration of the fight. Same applies for Dr. Fate and those are very amazing passives and uh, they are one of the most used characters as supports in the entire game and they are a must have for every single account. So basically, this is how you identify a support character, by the fact that he has a passive or a skill, usually a passive that is going to benefit the entire team. Another example, Atrocitus is going to have a passive that is going to boost his teammates, or on tagging is going to give either a shield that reflects stuff, uh, a 9 second little chance bonus or steal 3 bars of power from the enemy. Very powerful stuff. So, now that we have established uh, what support characters are out there, let's see how do we classify them. Where I have come up to two classifications for support characters. There are primary support characters, support characters that have the primary role of being support characters, and there are secondary support characters which have another primary role, like as a tank or as a damage dealer, and have a secondary role of a support character. For example, and over here it's a little bit strange with uh, Multiverse of Flash because he is a little bit of both. He is at the same time a great support character and at the same time a great combo builder because of the fact that he has 3 fast attack hits, so he is somewhere in the middle. He's not really a primary support, not really a secondary support, he is uh, a jack of all trades. Uh, another example. Just, uh, Justice League Superman. Justice League Superman primarily is a tank but he can act like a very good support character because of the fact that he is going to grant uh, additional defense for Justice League teammates and legendary teammates and because he has the passive protector which is going to make him a tag in, uh, stop the enemy ability that is going to be used upon one of your teammates uh, and deal some huge amount of damage. So primarily you'll build him as a tank and he's regarded as a tank, but secondary he can be used for the purpose of being a support character. 
uh, another character, the Arkham Knight Batman. He is going to be yet again a jack of all trades, a little bit of both, uh, because of the fact that uh, he can be a very great support and he is a very neat support for the best damage dealer team in the game because of his stun bomb that can stun uh, raid bosses. And he also has uh, a lot of uh, passives that are going to boost uh, agility and tech teammates. But he can also be used as a great, at a great extent to, uh, as a damage dealer in the arena. So he's yet again a little bit of both of them. Now let's go further down the line. Justice League The Flash is a character that he's a secondary support because his primary role is going to be as a damage dealer in the Justice League team. But he's used a lot as a support character because of the fact that uh, he's got the hyper speed assault which is going to increase uh, with plus one the fast uh, attack uh, hit for the team. And that means that uh, characters that would normally hit twice when they trigger a fast attack, if they have this guy in their team, they will hit uh, uh, three times uh, instead of two times. Let's take a look at some primary support. Seven has said Shazam is a primary support. He's uh, regarded as a support character without having any other role he's amazing in. He can be built as a tank, he can be built as a combo builder, but he's primarily a support. Uh, then same with uh, Power Girl, where was she? She's going to be primarily a support character but she can be built as a combo builder and I have even seen some people build her as a damage dealer and it yielded some average results but it can be done. So those are the classifications of the support characters. There are primary support characters, there are secondary support characters, and there are support characters that are a little bit of both. So basically a primary support character is a character that has uh, no other specific role than being a support and you can build him uh, for any reason. And the secondary support character is a, support, is a character that is very good at something but can also be a support character or even both. Now we're going to get in how you should build the support characters and uh, there are two options you have over here. For example, we have over here Justice League The Flash who as, as I have said is going to be a secondary support character because of the fact that he's primarily a damage dealer. In this case you are going to build him as a damage dealer even though sometimes you will use him as a support, his primary role is a damage dealer and that is the way he should be built. And same goes uh, for all secondary support characters, build them for their primary role always. And when it comes to a support character, well, there's uh, not necessarily a specific build for supports because a support character is going to be a character that's going to assist your team just by being in your team. So you have absolutely no problem just sticking them in your team and leaving them even without items because you will benefit from their passives and from their things that they are put in there. But you can definitely build them uh, uh, in order to also help your team. For example, Shazam is a great support character and is a pretty decent tank. And uh, he has nothing really to recommend him to be built as uh, a combo builder because he's got no passives regarding that and he's got just two fast attack hits. But he's going to be most optimally built as a combo builder because of the fact that uh, he is going to mostly be used in raid teams where he will end up uh, acting like the combo builder even though he's not the best combo builder but he's the best support in that specific team. And that will make him need to be a combo builder in that specific scenario. Uh, and the same goes for uh, Power Girl and Dr. Fate that I have talked about. They are characters that have absolutely nothing to recommend them out of the ordinary to be a combo builder that they are going to be built as a combo builder. So, first of all you can build support characters as a combo builder, secondly you don't really need to build them so you can leave them unbuilt if you want to, and thirdly there are support characters that uh, are not really needed in raids and are not going to act often as combo builders like Atrocitus but he is very used in arena. So with Atrocitus you have two options to go. The first one is the option that very few people go with uh, and I don't really recommend building him as a damage dealer even though he's not uh, recommending himself as being a great damage dealer. And the second option, the most safer one, is going to be building him as a tank because you are mainly going to use him in arena and in arena you don't really need combo builders, you need uh, more like tanks. And the same goes for other characters that are mainly used in arena and rarely used in raids as support, support characters uh, like uh, 
horrific scarecrow over here he's very rarely used in raids and he kind of sucks as a combo builder because of the fact that he's got very clunky basic attacks but he's going to have no problems being built as a tank so let's repeat when you're building a support character First of all, if he has another primary role, build him for that other primary role. Don't waste, uh, uh, don't waste your resources and your characters on building uh, him as a tank or a combo builder when he has something else that he's much better at. When you have characters that uh, are uh, very good uh, supports and their primary role is be going to be being a support, then you have three options. Not building them at all because you might not even need to use them in a fight, you might need just them just to stay there in your team. The second option will be building them as a combo builder, and the third option if you are using them in raids, and the third option will be building them as a tank if you are using them in the arena and champions arena. For how to build a tank and how to build a combo builder, please uh, go ahead and check my previous videos of this series on uh, combo builders and tanks. Because I'm sorry, but there's no specific uh, build for support, but uh, getting them tanky, getting them being a combo builder, or with some of them even getting them uh, doing uh, some damage. But into the damage builds, we will get into the next part. And this was everything for now. I hope you learned something valuable today. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the description, in the in the comments. Uh, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, and I'll see you in the next one.